Yeah, that's right. Swell up. Swell up. Swell body. Swell body. There we go. Alright, come on, homie. Hello everyone, my name is Artex, and today I want to welcome you to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved here on the center map. This is my personal server, and I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you for supporting the channel. If you're a new person here, awesome, rain. If you're a new person here, uh, please hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, all that good jazz. If you're a returning viewer, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't tell you enough. Um, now, as far as the server goes, I want to remind you guys that this is a free server that I am hosting. All you have to do is pop over to my Discord channel, Discord channel, Discord server, and uh, holler at either myself or No Rush, and we'll get you set up on the uh, on the server. Okay. Uh, now, unfortunately, this is for PC only. It is a vanilla with sprinkles. Uh, we're planning to do some crazy stuff here in the future so if you guys want to uh you know partake jump in here uh the big thing the reason i want you in the discord server is if the server needs to be updated or uh you know i fly by your base and see you on i'm gonna pop in and be like oh hey here's so and so and i want you to pop into the voice channel and be part of the video okay so uh that's the main reason now this video is a little late because i had technical difficulties this is the fourth time recording this episode and <laughs> I'm at wit's end so here's the hoping everything's going good I've double triple quadruple checked everything everything's looking straight everything's looking solid so let's get this thing underway what we're gonna do is we're gonna build us a taming pen for water dinos and we're gonna do it right down here as you see I've got a little line down there already set up with some ceilings uh, I tamed a salamander the very first time I attempted this video, so we do have a uh, portable oxygen tank. Now, I have finished shelling out the base for the most part. There's no decoration done. I've put up some torches. Uh, really, the only thing left to do is, you know, pop windows here and there and uh, get the greenhouse finished up, or get the roof put on it anyways, but that'll be in a separate episode. So without uh, further ado, what do you guys say we go ahead and jump in and get this thing going? Now, I know I have all the resources that are needed because, well, let's face it, this is the third freaking time I've done this video. Fourth freaking time I've done this video. God, I can't even remember. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to start building. I mean, I already know how things are going to go. Um, essentially, we're going to just put a wall here, or not wall, but a row of ceilings here, there, and here. We'll have a behemoth gate there, obviously a row of ceilings over top. And uh, if all goes well, oh, there's a hole missing. So that's where that foundation goes, okay. Um, if all goes well, we're gonna get this build done really freaking fast and uh, maybe get us some Megalodon and if we can, I don't know, maybe tame us two of them or something. So here we go. Blonde hair, blue eyes, that'll make you faint on sight but she looks like trouble her lips so kissable and poisonous i know she won't be good for me Like, 
let's see if we can get perfect placement just a little up a little bit more down and right there it's gonna be a close one I'm gonna say it's gonna be pretty acceptable though guys so first things first switch this over to manual and we'll go hit up nitrox I love these things uh, really the salamander is an extremely underrated dino in my opinion uh, just for a simple fact I mean it's easy to tame you pick the thing up with an RG I mean if you're good enough you could probably build a trap near it and you know force it to run into it but this right here is early game scuba and it's a lot faster than flippers I can outrun megalodons with this thing but uh, yeah here we go I mean it's just ceilings with pillars coming down I mean there's nothing really fancy about it I'll probably do some I don't know maybe uh, run some ceilings or something right here and do a half and half and the hell is that oh it's a manta uh, I don't know maybe the bottom half will be like dino storage and the top half will be a taming pen because one thing that I've noticed just by building this four times now is it's pretty deep and if you're using a long neck you have to lead your target come on animation stop you gotta lead your target a fairly decent ways if they're moving so that can be problematic at times all right night sharks what you got for me let's give you some stams bump that auction up yeah that's right swell up swell up swell body swell body there we go all right come on homie let's go see if we can find us a meg Get, get off get off the stairs come on there you go ah oh, there you go so as far as the salamanders go I would recommend stamina oxygen and movement speed I mean yeah you probably want some health at some point but oh, there's a lead out there uh, you probably want some health at some point but really if you can outrun anything that's trying to kill you you probably don't need too much health so we're just going to take a quick look before I cut the video, see if we can find us something, you know, good in the area at 95. That's crap. Eighty-five, that's crap. Now another good thing about the Oh, okay, that's a uh, a whale. I thought it was a squid for a minute. I was like, man, you are way too shallow. Uh, the good thing about the salamanders or the diplocalis is they get a damage bonus against trilobites. Now I know that doesn't sound you know all that amazing, but if you think about it, trilobites give oil, pearls, and black pearls, as well as chitin, and uh, I'm, I'm sure there's something else. So really to have something that has a four times damage bonus against it, meaning it's going to one shot everything but 150s. And to have it at such a low level, I mean, it doesn't require a saddle. It's easy to tame. Really about the only thing you're gonna need is probably an RG. I mean, an RG is going to make it super easy to tame uh, because you can just snatch it up. Now the worst part about the salamanders is trying to find one because their spawn points are in the swamp and everything wants to kill them. Everything. I mean like mega piranhas, everything. It's, it, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw a pig mole, one of the uh, fiomas attacking a salamander. So it doesn't look like there's anything in the general area. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna cut right here and we're gonna go out. We're gonna find us a good level Megalodon. Hopefully a 150. And I'm gonna go inside our pen just so I'm safe while I talk to you guys. Hopefully a 150. And if we can pull it off, then I'll kite it back to to the pen here and uh, I'll bring you guys back when it's time to put the thing to sleep 
So y'all give me just a second, just a split second, and I'll bring you right back. All right, everyone, and we're back, and I'm sure you, you can tell by the battle music in the background that we've trapped something. It took a while. It took a lot of dodging, a lot of low-level megalodons, but we finally got this girl back to base. She is a... 145 I believe yes 145 so we're gonna go ahead and put her down gently come on now hopefully she's got pretty decent stats I mean I guess I could look right here huh eh. 992 for stamina. Health is meh. I mean, it's kind of a meh 145. But I think they added uh, underwater breeding. So if that's the case, then we may have to find us another one. I don't know if they did or not. I mean, it'd be cool, but... Now you see what I mean about having to lead your shots? If you're not good at leading or, hell, even spotting them half the time, then you definitely need to, uh, is she asleep? I think she is asleep. Yes, she is asleep. Alright. Um, if you're not good at leading your shots, then I would build this a lot smaller. And that's why I said I will probably do, like, a half and half. We'll do the bottom half as a storage and then the top half for a taming pen I don't know we'll see what happens I guess I could look at you guys huh there we go yeah all majestic with my construction helmet my hard hat that is the uh, builder mod or builder mod builders helmet uh, it's a mod that we have on the server right there and it increases my weight to 2,000 if I were to take it off, then my weight drops back to normal, the 350. So I use it when I'm building and so on and so forth. Alright, you are driving me insane. Go away. So this is all Jason Statham had to do in order to take out the Megalodon. Which, no spoilers. I'm serious. I'm going to watch the movie tomorrow. Or I guess in like... 13 hours so nobody comment spoilers if you do I'm gonna be pissed just throwing that out there so all right well I'm gonna wait for old gal to get down about thousand on her food yeah about a thousand on her food once she gets to about 5400 I'll go ahead bring you guys back throw some mutton on her wake her up and uh see where we're at as far as time goes and time permitting we may go tame a baryonyx maybe it's a big maybe guys because we've already ate up a good amount of time so we'll see what happens give me a minute and i'll bring it right back all right everybody and we're back and i do believe it's time for this old girl to wake up now while we were away i went ahead and put in the second floor as you see it's going to make taming a whole lot easier the only issue that I see is hopefully they don't go down into like the storage area because that could be bad especially if you know got my salamander and stuff like that down here all right eat yes food and we have a megalodon I don't have a name for it, so it's just going to chill right here for right now. I mean, this is like the storage area. Now, I do believe... You know what? Give me my mutton back. Come here. Oh, you ate it all. You fat pig. Um, I do believe that we have a Ascendant Megalodon saddle. So I'm going to head over to the community base, see if I can't whip one up just real fast like. 
can I ride you or are we in that weird area where like it's not gonna happen no it's not gonna happen come here there you go all right stop I love the salamanders I, I can't say it enough there you will be perfectly safe here my friend stay Why are you? Why have you lost oxygen? These things do breathe underwater, right? Hell, I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna go back to the community base, see if we have a megalodon saddle, and if I happen to find another megalodon, we'll uh, go about. Taming it up. What? Hey, back up, guys. There we go. That's better. So, I'll fly over to the community base. See if we have a saddle. If we do, great. If not, probably do a little bit of drop hunting and see what I can figure out. And time permitting, we may do a megalodon or a baryonyx. We may have to save the baryonyx for next time. You know what? Matter of fact, that's a good idea. I'm going to go over to the community base, get this saddle, or at least look and see, and I'll bring you guys back for next episode, but we're going to do a Baryonyx, and hopefully a Basilosaurus, because the whales are stupid powerful, and with this map being primarily water, that would be like the ultimate water mount, especially since I can't use a freaking raft, so hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did make sure you go and smash that thumbs up button remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel and don't forget server is free to play come join me i would love to have you guys all right everyone until next time yep that fucked up Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.